When buying a mobile home and lease land in Florida, have you been confused on how much the title and registration fees will cost you to get the mobile home in your name and out of the seller's name? It was very difficult for me, but luckily I've been able to crack the code on this one. Now, before we get started, I will first give you the general disclaimer here that I am not a tax professional. I do not work for the Florida Department of Revenue. I'm not an attorney and I do not work for the Department of Motor Vehicles. Okay, now that we have that totally out of the way, let's look at how the fees are assessed for the registration and title of a mobile home on leased land here in Florida. Within the state of Florida, everything is based off the length and the width of a mobile home. The age and features of the home do not matter whatsoever when assessing the correct fees needed to be paid for the title and registration of the mobile home. So as a quick review, when buying a mobile home in Florida on leased land, please remember that we are just buying the home and not the land it sits on. As such, as we've discussed in the past, we're buying personal property and not real estate. Since we are buying personal property, then all the fees will need to be paid directly to your local Department of Motor Vehicles. As of this writing, the fee to title a mobile home on leased land in Florida is $78.25. This is per side of the home, meaning that if you were to buy a double wide, it'd be double this price, or a triple wide would be triple that cost. Does this make sense so far? Okay, good. Next, we need to register the mobile home in your name as you're the new buyer. For those who do not know what registration means each year, you will get dated stickers that need to be placed on the front of your mobile home. These look exactly the same as the ones that you put on your vehicle license plate in the upper right hand corner. The reason for this is because in Florida, a mobile home on leased land is viewed as and taxed as a used motor vehicle, which essentially is why they use the same stickers, I'm sure. To register the home, it is based on the length of the home itself and how long you are looking to get the home registered for. The length of the home can be found off the actual title itself, and it's very self-explanatory with that. Now, the length of time will be based on when in the year you purchase the home. So if you're buying a home in January, then you may be paying a different amount than if you're buying the home in, say, July. After working with several members of the local Department of Motor Vehicles, no one can, can tell me exactly how this is figured out. However, here at the mobile home dealer, we were able to obtain the sheet that gives the exact amount, and we'll be happy to walk you through this if you get in contact with us through the comments here or reach out to us directly on our website at sellmobilehome.com. When purchasing a mobile home, it is of utmost importance that you are getting the home out of the seller's name and in your name as the buyer as soon as possible, not only to make sure the paperwork is correct, but also to avoid some of the late fees that the Department of Motor Vehicles will impose on you if you don't get it done in a timely fashion. I hope this all helped you get a better idea of exactly how the title and registration fees work for the purchase of a mobile home on leased land here in Florida. As always, we're always here to help. This is Mark Kaiser with The Mobile Home Dealer, and we help mobile home buyers and sellers get to a better place in life.